Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen is starting her second term today with the presidential inauguration taking place in Taipei at 9 a.m. local time. The United States has also congratulated Taiwan's president, giving her full support while indirectly criticizing China. Our Kim Jae-hee with more. Taiwan's first female president, Tsai Ing-wen, kicked off her second term on Wednesday with high approval from her people and from the U.S., but with mounting pressure from China. Tsai and her Democratic Progressive Party have successfully contained the spread of the COVID-19, earning much support from the Taiwanese public. A recent poll by a Taiwanese think tank showed Tsai's approval ratings reached 74.5 percent, the highest rating any Taiwanese president has reached so far. But she still faces a challenge from Beijing, whose one-China policy doesn't see Taiwan as a sovereign nation. With Tsai's inauguration coming just days after Taiwan was excluded from the World Health Organization's annual assembly, under Chinese pressure, all eyes now turn to how Beijing will respond to Tsai's inaugural address. Meanwhile, Tsai has been receiving praise and support from the U.S. In a statement on Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo congratulated Tsai on her re-election and wished her a successful second term. At the same time, he indirectly criticized China, saying that Taiwan's democracy is an inspiration to Taiwan and also the world. He praised Taiwan's response to the COVID-19 outbreak and added that the U.S. has long considered Taiwan a reliable partner. He said the two sides have shared a vision for the region, one that includes rule of law, transparency, prosperity and security for all. This is in line with recent remarks from the U.S. towards China. President Trump's economic adviser Larry Kudlow on Tuesday slammed Chinese firms for their lack of transparency and accountability, adding they do not meet the norms and regulations. He went on to warn Americans that they cannot invest confidently in Chinese companies. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.